Welcome to my channel, Ruby Necrochet Tejido. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful design. It's very easy and fast to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you're receiving a Spanish video and you want to see the video in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel. Then you'll find the English version in there. Also, you can send me a message and I can send you the link. To make this design, this is the yarn I'm going to use. The Loops Andre Impeccable Medium 4, 100% acrylic, black and white. Uh, the amount that you're going to use depends on the size that you're making this. Um, this one, 128 grams. This one, um, 127.5 gram. This is the new look of Loop and Thread Impeccable and they're very sneaky because they start removing 5 grams uh, on the balls and they still cost exactly the same. Um, I start my granny squares with this 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and I don't know why or I put this one and with the other hooks and then I grabbed this one thinking that I was using this one because it took me a, long, a while to do all this granny square I grabbed the six millimeters so the first five uh, rows of the granny square I did it with a 6.5 and the last one I did it with a six millimeter so either you can work with both or just with one depend on which hook you have uh, you're going to need a uh, tapestry needle and scissors. So these are the granny square that we're going to do. I start these ones with a 6.5 to this point. And then after, somehow I grab this one to do the last round. And I already have a lot of this done with the last round. I just need to, you know, pull back a little bit of the... Um, yarn in order to start attaching them i wanted to go ahead and have almost all of them ready to go i still have more of these ones uh, like this until this point i don't know if i'm going to use them right now in this project so i'm going to leave those ones there just in case that depends on uh, what i'm going to do with this the length the size i'm still deciding but um and you're going to start with the black and finish with the blacks only five rows uh, around um, but for me I did all of them this way and then after I decided I'm gonna do one more I start with the black finish with the white but you're gonna start with the you know like this start with the black finish with the black or start with the white finish with the white it's up to you uh, this look will be more black and this look will be more white so this is the one I'm gonna go for we're gonna start the first Round, I'm gonna do a magic circle, just wrap your working yarn all the on top. You press your thumb in there, you pull that one through to the other side, and you're ready to go. You only have to work with the two strands in here, otherwise the magic circle don't wanna work. So you're gonna chain one, two, and three, yarn over, you're gonna do Two more double crochet because the chain three counts as the first one. So you have three. And at the end we have to have four of this group of three double crochet. One, two, and three chains, yarn over. Let me close this a little bit. That's easier. Three double crochet. One, two, and three. Two. And three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to do my last three double crochet. One, two, and three. 
and three. three. I'm going to do a slip stitch on the third chain that you start with. You're going to pull the tail to close this circle. You can close very loosely that you have a little hole and you can pull really tight that you completely close the circumference. I like it very close like this. I'm going to cut the yarn. I'm going to pass this one to the front. Now pass it to the back. At this point you can lose those two tails before you start the next round. That way uh, you don't have that many tails to lose at the end. We're going to start in the second round and I'm going to start with the slip knot. I will start with the slip knot because this will secure your work and will never unravel through that seam. So you're going to pass that loop and you want to chain one that comes to the first chain one two and three yarn over you're going to do again three double crochet counting that chain three as the first one now you're going to chain one yarn over you go to the next chain three space and you're going to do three double crochet one two and three one, two, and three, and three more double crochet. I'm showing you how I'm doing this granny square because not all the granny square are done exactly the same with the same amount of uh, stitch for separation. So, now you know how this one is done. So you're gonna chain one and over. Three double crochet. Chain one and three double crochet. One, two, and three. And you come here, you're gonna do your slip stitch. You're gonna cut your yarn, gonna pass it through, put us back again. And then you can lose the tail. I recommend to lose the tail as you go. That way at the end you don't have that many tail to hide over. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the third one. That way you're ready to go. And I don't leave you hanging. What to do next? So again, my slope knot. one in the corner three one two three. and I notice with the new um, loops and thread yarn with the, the new label the yarn is softer than the one before so if they remove three uh, five grams to have a better quality eh, much better it's very soft now, the white compared to the black. So three, one, two, and three. If you like in that same space, you can do the three double crochet. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So chain one. For the last round, 
I did. For the last round, I start in here. What you gonna do here? One, two, and three. Chain one. Three double crochet. So the separation in between the three double crochet on the sides are one chain and in the corner three chains. So very easy to remember. Like so. And like that you're going to continue working all the way around and you're going to finish here exactly the same. Cut the yarn, lose the tails and start the next color. So depend on the size you are making. So I did all of them first here and then after the work on the last round and I'm gonna count how many I already have like this uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna use uh, yet <laughs> so I'm gonna count how many I'm done with the last round and I'll let you know I have 21 of these ready to go with the last round I'm gonna measure them that way you know the measurements are quite big They measure a little over seven and a half inches. That is 19 centimeter by 19 centimeter. Uh, so that's the sizes. So now we're gonna start attaching them together. I already lost the tail of the first one. And then this one I just need to, to, to undo a little piece and I start attaching them. You might think that's a lot of work of doing the last round and then removing, but I did them watching TV or uh, outside sitting with William in the pool. And then for me, it's easier this way because I only have to do half of the square on each. So my plan is to do it uh, close on the front, you know, completely close. Uh, so I'm going to do three for the width and I don't know the length yet but I'm going to do two for the length for now and then for the front and back what I'm going to do because if I do this like this and I close them in here and in here the opening for the head will be too small. So I'm planning to do the, the three for the front and then when I do the three for the back, what I'm gonna do is finish in here, attaching these two, the same in here, attaching these two and finishing in here and that will give me that extra for the head, you see, around that size, that's my plan. Like so. And if you want it bigger, you can do it until here. And that will give you. I don't, I don't decide it yet if I got to bring it until here or until the next one. Okay? But that's my plan. And then first I'm going to do the this part and then attach it under the arm and then work uh, the circumference as I go for the length. We're going to start attaching our first two square. I already left a chain here of three. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your hook out. You're going to pass your hook through this corner. You're going to pass that loop and you're going to chain one, that's the second chain, and then you're going to chain the third one. That's your three chains there. 
you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna do your three double crochet in the same spot one two in three you're gonna you're supposed to chain one but instead of chaining one you're gonna come here to the next space where you had a chain one space you're gonna pass the loop and then it's when you're gonna chain one to create a chain yarn over and do your three double crochet so I went to the beach a few times when I was in Cuba and I have a really nice tan <laughs> that's why you see my hands so dark so again you go to the next space pass that loop chain one yarn over one two three double crochet chain one look how nice it's starting to look And I recommend when you do the last round with the white, if you are doing all the rounds first, when you're gonna cut, when you finish, leave extra just in case when you're doing this again, you do your stitches a little bit bigger or a little more loose, and you do, you have to have enough to finish, okay? Otherwise, you'll be short when you're gonna finish that square. It's better to have a little extra than no enough. And three. And chain one. Yarn over. Work on the last one. Double crochet, chain one, come to the corner, chain one, and the third one, and in here, do your three double crochet. Now you'll continue working this side of the square, you want to finish, and if you like, you can lose that ends or tail. And you finish attaching these two together and look how nice that looks. I finished these two, I saw the ends, now I'm going to go for the third one and exactly the same, I'm going to attach these two together, I'll finish here and then I will meet you here.
I finish with these three. I lost their tails. And now you have to decide if you want to make this a cardigan. If you want to do the cardigan, you will continue working the length, attaching three to this for the length. And then after you will attach this, let's say you have the one for the back and here, you attach to the first one in the back, leaving the center uh, open. And then the other one that you'll have with a sleeve a cardigan. But I have many cardigans and many tutorials of cardigans, so I'm gonna do this one close. So I will attach three more to this, and then um, I will work in the open for the head and the other side, and then the opening for the arms. To work here, where you have already these two together, you're gonna pass your hook through that chain that you did to attach those two together. You're gonna come here and facing backwards this, the hook. It's easier to pass it through. You're gonna chain that one and then the next one that is number chain number three. Yarn over and you're gonna do your three double crochet. like that you're gonna continue working finish this and it will look like this these three together Once you finish with the six, it will be like this. Now, if you want to make a cardigan out of this, what you do is you give more of the length, and then you flip it over, and then you will grab one of the squares, and I will attach from here to this one here, and another one on the other side, and then when you want to attach the next one, and the second one, you'll attach to this one, but then you'll attach to this one here on the back to leave the opening for the sleeve. And you'll do the same on the other side and then you'll continue attaching uh, to the next one and the one in the back giving the length. And then after is put it on the sleeve. But for mine, what I'm gonna do, gonna be a crop short piece. So I will attach one in here 
my other three. I will leave the open here for the head and I will do the sleeves. Now I'm going to attach this one to the other piece and I'm going to leave the open space for the head. And I already did a corner. I don't want to work the corner. That way we have extra room. And then again, and here, and instead of doing the slip ch uh, chain through the back, I'm going to chain one first. And then I'm going to pass my hook and then I will do the slip chain. And then I will come here and I'll continue working the stitch. And that will give us just a little extra room in here as well. And then I will finish this one and then I'll start attaching the next one, the front piece or the middle piece in here. And then I'll finish this one and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the other one because first you have to attach to the back piece and then do the chain one. So finish this one and attach the next one in the center to this and I'll meet you here. Now I'm going to finish in this part and attach to this one. So in the last one, when you do your three double crochet, you're going to pass it through here. And you're going to close that chain. And now you're going to chain one. In the other one, you chain one and, and did the slip stitch with the chain. And now it's the other way around. Then you come to the corner. And you're gonna do your three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're gonna chain one. Then you're gonna work in this one. You're gonna slip and close that chain. Chain one, do your three double crochet in the same space for the corner. And then you're going to come to this one, to that space. You're going to pass it, close that chain, yarn over, and three double crochet in the space. And now you're going to attach these two together, exactly the same. And you're going to finish the square. And then you have the open for the head, like so. If you don't want these two open, you can attach them corner to corner. But that will be very tight around your neck. Or you can skip the chain space in between. It will be one chain less in here. Okay? It's up to you. So I'm going to finish here and I will show you how you're going to continue. Now we're going to attach this one to close the side of our piece and to close the under the arm. And here. So do this half until you do the half at the corner and then I will meet you here to show you how we're going to close in under the arm. Now we're going to work under the sleeve and I'm glad I'm working with the white otherwise with the black <laughs> just can't see anything. So you're going to come here in this corner where you have a, a slip stitch that you close that you create a chain you pass it through there you grab this one like so and pass that one under. You bring it up through these loops. You're gonna do that chain to close that stitch. Chain one, that's chain number three, yarn over. Your three double crochet. And then you 
come to the space and do the, the slip to do the chain and then you're gonna continue working you finish and here and you have the open for the sleeve and just to attach the piece for the sleeve and then you're gonna attach these two you're gonna finish the square you're gonna grab the next one and you're gonna start working in here attach to the corner and this one at the top and finish that one and then the last one the same you're gonna start in here attach to this corner to this border and in this part you're gonna do exactly the same as you did with the other one and you're gonna finish here and then what we have to do is just attach the sleeves time to do the sleeves I already done one and I will show you how it look uh, so when you're gonna work in this corner you will attach to under the arm and then attach to this one in the top here until the shoulder and then you will finish this square and then the other one you will start here and the border and then attach those two together and then you'll attach here all the way in the border to the shoulder and then you'll finish with this one on the top and finish that square and you can decide the length you can do it with two or with four I did mine with four I'm gonna show you and then let me zoom out a little bit and what I mean by four is that you're gonna need four square, you know. And this one in the front, one in the back is two, and one in the front and the back is four. And like that, the sleeve, and like that on top of the shoulder. So for my sleeve it will be a square, and for the body twelve in total twenty with this length. I still have more of uh, the square. I don't decide yet if that's the length I'm gonna give it or I'm gonna do more. So depend on the size of the length that you're making is the amount of square that you're gonna need. So now I'm gonna start working in the other sleeve and then I will try it on.
I finished the sleeves and I did a border on this one, the crab stitch. So I'm gonna do the same border on the other one around the waist and around the collar. So what you're gonna do for the crab stitch is very easy if you don't done the stitch. It's very easy to do. Always I recommend to start with a slip knot. That way you work a secure and then you're gonna pass through any of this space. I'm gonna pass through this one and you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna work and the stitch behind. You know, you're gonna work backwards and you're gonna do a single crochet. Go to the space, a single crochet like so and always when you work this you have to make sure that the yarn in the front is the working yarn and this loop is the one behind so you're going to continue continue doing this around the, the sleeves the waist and the collar and then i'll meet you here Look how nice the border of the sleeve look. Really, really nice finish. So for the border here around the waist, I'm gonna do some decrease as I go because this is a little bit too big for me, especially on the back, I tend to uh, lift um, because this is for a large and I'm a medium. So, I have to do them, you know, this size in order to have a good size for the sleeve. Because if I have done this until the black, this will be smaller and the sleeve will be a little bit smaller and tighter on the arm. But like this is really nice and roomy around the arm. So I will do those decrease, probably skip all these one chain one space and here and there one of these in the center and it will gather a little bit not too much i don't want this to be like this okay and i will do the crab stitcher on the color and then i will show you the end result and remember i only did two square for mine for the length you can do as many as you like and as long as you like yours to be this is the end result and i absolutely love this design very easy to do and very fast it's a little big on my mannequin because my mannequin is a size small and this is a size large it's a little bit big on the back 
but I absolutely love it and I hope you guys like it and give it a try and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this beautiful design and you want to send me some picture you can do it through my Facebook page Ruby Necrochet Tejido or my Instagram Ruby Necrochet Tejido please share my video with friends and family and in groups and don't forget the thumbs up and a comment that way you help me grow here on YouTube I wish you have a beautiful day bye